Hey everybody, Michelle here. I wanted to get on here and share some March updates since we're now about halfway through March, weather's warming up. Uh, it's definitely spring outside, which is really exciting. Um, so as always, lots of exciting stuff going on. I'll probably make this video just a little shorter than the other ones. Um, but I did want to give you some, some information with some upcoming stuff. Uh, so first and foremost, one of the big things that I've been working on this past month is getting everything together for my summer clinics, um, which I'm pumped about. Uh, so that's all together. I have promotional materials out and I've been able to start to reach out to folks to share with them what to expect. Uh, so in addition to offering like private guided adventures, um, I also have put together four different clinics. Um, I'm going to be offering a gym to crag clinic, a anchor building and repelling clinic, a intro to lead and an intro to trad clinic and all of those run throughout the summer at different times um, and there are spaces for female identified folks for queer folks um, and then open spaces as well so please take a look at those upcoming events we have folks signing up um, lots of excitement about it and I would love to see you there there's more um, more details about what exactly is going to go into each of those classes on the website on the climbing connection so please feel free to click the link in the link tree on my instagram page it'll take you right over there or look up um, the climbing and you can navigate over to the summer adventures tab and that'll list out everything that you should expect uh, as far as those exciting events coming up the other thing that i'm super pumped about this summer um, actually two other things is um, our community climb days so I'm still putting together the exact details of this but I wanted to share it with you so that you could get excited about it um, the intention behind these community climb days is to make outdoor climbing super accessible so this is um, this is a way I really hope that people who maybe have kind of been on the fence or who have been uh, maybe never invited to climbing before, maybe invited a couple times but weren't sure, this is the this is the day to come to. Um, it's donation based. I'll have the gear. Um, I, I hope to have worked out some like community space after with some like food trucks and and things so we can spend time and hang out as a group in a COVID safe way. Um, but the idea is that you can show up to a crag uh, that I'll obviously let you know where that's at uh, and I'll be there to, to answer questions or give you a couple blaze or, or be around to hang out as a community. So I really want these days to be space for folks um, to come on out and check climbing out and, and do it in a really like low risk, um, easy to approach type of way. So check the website for more updates. I should have more information on that soon. And then the other thing that I have going on this summer that is in the works right now is a triathlon. Get pumped. This is going to be super cool. So my hope is, and I'm still working on venues for this, um, it all kind of depends on COVID and how to keep it really safe for everyone, but the hope is to put together um, a summer triathlon, hopefully taking place sometime in August, that is going to be a combination of mountain biking, rock climbing, and trail running. Uh, so I'm really excited. I would love to make it two days and that's what we're working on right now. So the first day being more clinic based where if maybe you're a mountain biker but you've never rock climbed before you could come on out and you would get a tutorial on kind of how to rock climb and what that looks like and um, how you could integrate that into the race. And then the next day would be the race itself. So stay tuned. Um, because that will be a really, really fun event and space will be limited for that, of course, uh, due to COVID. Um, so that's what's going on with TCC. Um, obviously throughout the summer, we'll have like um, uh, different guiding options. So if you're interested in coming out climbing um, and maybe one of those clinics doesn't fit your needs or the date doesn't fit your needs, please reach out to me. I would love to take you out and teach you whatever it is that you feel like uh, you need to know. Um, or just get you up on some rock if you've never been climbing before or you have a family who you think it would be a fun outing for. Um, so you can also uh, look into what a private guided day would look like for you or even for your organization um, on the website. All right, on to WMCC news. Lots going on there too. Uh, we got a board meeting tonight. That's Wednesday the 17th. You can find the link on their website for that. This is an open board meeting. So even if you're not from the area, even if maybe you've been to Western Mass a couple of times or you're a Boston-based climber or Connecticut or Vermont and you've been to Farley, check it out. It's kind of cool to see everything that's going on and there's a lot that's going on, including Hanging Mountain, um, more JDEI initiatives happening. Um, that's all gonna be discussed tonight. Uh, we also have an upcoming speaker series, which was previously called an info session. Um, we are partnering with the AMC Berkshire chapter to host Melissa Utomo. 
which we're super psyched about. That's going to be in early April. Link is on the WMCC website for that as well. Um, we have another list. We previously had a listening session uh, last week, which went great. We tried out a new format that was a lot more interactive. While we had a smaller group, um, I think we really enjoyed that to try and play with this new format with a lot of breakout rooms and a Google slide deck so that folks could participate via typing and real time responses. Um, so please look out for the upcoming date for that. Um, we hope to continue to grow kind of how we're able to host these meetings in really interactive ways. Um, WMCC also has a silent auction coming up and I have been around the silent auction for quite a few years. Uh, I think this year has some of the coolest donations um, to support the WMCC stuff from like the power company, um, a stay up at a spot up in Rumney, um, all kinds of guidebooks. So please check that out. That's going to be hosted virtually. All of the information is on the WMCC page. Um, really exciting stuff. Uh, we have a gym to crag. Um, coming up, a workshop, it's hosted via Zoom through the WMCC. I'm hosting that alongside Sarah McFadden. Um, we're super excited to give folks just like very general breakdown of kind of what to expect, taking skills from indoors to outdoors, give you a general packing list, some things to consider, resources so you can grow your knowledge more. And hopefully, if we can get it all together, a, uh, a much anticipated Farley tour uh, Mormon tour and Sun Bowl tour so that folks kind of have their bearings as they get there and kind of know what to expect. All right, I think last thing on my mind for this past month is a conference I'm putting together with Hampshire College. I'm an instructor there um, and I have been working on and it's now coming together a conference on social justice in the outdoors. Um, so I'm really psyched about this. It's going to take place early April. Um, it's going to be free to the community a half day workshop for folks to come and participate in one of two panels. Um, we're going to be looking at a couple different avenues on what the outdoor industry has looked like, whether that's a historical perspective or current initiatives. And then we're going to be breaking out into interactive space where um, we'll have facilitated discussions around how to like dig into this work and hopefully walk away so with some really tangible steps on having conversations about justice and social issues in the outdoors. Um, among other things. So I've been collaborating with Rachel Haley on that, um, which has been lovely. Uh, please stay tuned for more information. That event's coming up quick, but it's going to be awesome. Um, and I would love to see you all there. Um, all right, quick update for this week, fast update. Uh, but uh, really, really excited, a lot of energy as far as all the stuff going on. So um, if you have questions on anything I have mentioned here, please shoot me a DM, please email me, text me, whatever it is, reach me at the crag. Um, and I'm looking forward to seeing everybody outside at these clinics, at these events. Um, yeah. All right. See ya.